here we see a sleepy boy and we get interrupted in the middle of my intro but it's fine we're fine it's all fine we don't want to wake the sleepy boy wait a minute yeah we do we can't progress if we can't wake up so snorlax wakey wakey sleepy head is just all like oh <laughs> What is up, my turtles? My name is Jimmy, also known as Jimmy Tortuga, and welcome back to the Pokemon Y region lock. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and uh, let's get into it. Oh, it's you too. Did you actually manage to borrow the Poke Flute? Yeah, we did, 100%. Yimage handed over the Poke Flute. Thanks. Well, you're the one, uh, only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy uh, when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the Poke uh, Flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? Sure! Because why not? We healed at the end of the last episode. It's fine. This is beautiful music, by the way. I, I uh, Snorlax opened its uh, wise, uh, eyes wide. He looks pretty sleepy, dude. He looks pretty sleepy. Oh gosh, Snorlax attacked. Oh no! Snorlax. This is good. This is a good boy. It's too bad I can't actually use this thing. Otherwise, I totally would. Level 15 is actually kind of scary, so... We're gonna use some Fairy Wind. I know Snorlax is pretty bulky. Uh, let's see how much Tackle does. Oh, that does half. No bueno. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's, uh, check some summary here and whatnot. We got a defense of 19, so that's part of the reason why we didn't, uh, take that very well. Um, Fox has the best, uh, Fox has the best, uh, defense, so we're gonna, we're gonna switch into Fox, cause we don't, we don't want that, and the potential of it, uh, tackling and getting burned is actually really, really good. Spideff increases tremendously, so we're gonna, we're gonna use the stab move of Peck, does a decent amount of damage, which is good, it's a lot of damage! So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm, I'm uh, really enjoying the skits at the beginning here. Um, Snorlax apparently had a berry, which kind of lagged the game out, which is always fun. Uses tackle. Um, getting burned would be great. Of course, I don't get the burn, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, level 15 Snorlax. This is why we have the experience share on. But we've done a pretty good job uh, so far at not uh, losing any members. We got pretty close with Kermit the one time. Um, but nothing too, too, too crazy. Of course you get the para. Of course you would. You know, why wouldn't you get the para? <sighs> and then I'm fully paralyzed. I hate RNG, man. I hate it. It's so wooed. Can you, like, actually get burned? You know, that would be really, really good. Alright, Snorlax has fainted. And Rachel grows to level 19, which is what we want to see. Kermit growing to level 21. Pokemon being Pokemon. Hey, Rachel is evolving! Our first evolution in quite a while here. Let's see Rachel's evolution here, which is very, very cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Long evolution a animation. I remember this so well in the older generations here. Oh my gosh, look at it! Floette. Okay, so not Flabebe anymore, is Floette. But still Rachel. Very, very nice. Very, very good. Snorlax fled towards the mountains. I wonder where Snorlax went. Think I'll, uh, think it'll come back to sleep here? Growf. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh. The only thing I can do uh, do with that Poke Flute is put it on display, but you've been playing it since you were little, and the tone is lovely. It also seems my Fru-Fru likes the sound of that flute. Not as much as my beautiful uh, Wonder Fru. Ha, <laughs> fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded better back in the day. Uh, I'll let you take care of that flute, so be sure to practice some more. Oh, I don't have to return it, so that's cool. Okay, bye. Doesn't even say thank you or anything. Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. 
I wonder where, uh, what lies past where Snorlax was sleeping. I don't know. We'll find out in a little bit because I got to go heal because I got paralyzed. <laughs> uh, it was funny. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm trying to think of a question of the day for, for you, my viewer, viewers, my turtles. Um, trying to, trying to think of a good one, um, that, that would be Pokemon gener, uh, uh g generation, uh, related. You know, I've heard a lot of people say, you know, what is your favorite, you know, city or town in any Pokemon game? Was there any route? Like, what was your favorite route in any Pokemon game? That's a, that's a, that's one to make you think, right? That's definitely one to make you think. I don't, I don't know. It's like, uh, we'll, we'll have to, we'll definitely have to give that some serious thought. Um, but yeah, what is your favorite Pokemon route? Like, what was the most memorable route in, uh, maybe any Pokemon game that you played? So, I'm trying to actually think of that answer myself here. Um... I don't know. I'd have to think about that a little bit more. Honestly, I think, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what route, but it was like route 24 or 22, whatever the route was right before Victory Road in Johto, heading back into Kanto, um, was always my favorite route because it's like, yeah, it was Kanto, you were going back into Kanto, but it was uh, it was always it, it was always just a really really good uh, route because it's like you you finally made it you, you got through this brand new region second Pokemon game uh, or the second region ever and you're heading back to basically the beginnings I think that was the most memorable route um, on on mine uh, I think like I said it was either Route 24 or 22 something. Something along those lines. It might even been 25, but you, you guys, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'll have to look it up to make sure. Uh, but there. Hey, Jim Tuga. Treb said uh, he wanted to check out the Pokemon daycare with us. Come with us. Wait. Hold on. I need to get my encounter. Bruh. This is the Pokemon daycare. They take care of your Pokemon here. Yes, indeed. You can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. That's right. Sometimes we'll find a new addition, like an egg. If you carry the egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow! A Pokemon will come out? Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having the same Pokemon with the same moves might step up my dance. How about you, Jim Tuga? Um, I'm gonna do some some other time. There aren't many Pokemon I want to raise. Uh, I'll try it on some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. I'm gonna go look for some Pokemon from my dance team. Hey, Tierno, wait up! All right, so if I wanted to use the daycare, I could. There's really no reason for me to. Uh, so, yeah. He's legit looking for Pokemon, too. That's actually pretty funny. Um, well, that's a hop it board. Did not expect that. Um... Shaking areas, and then, of course, we get hordes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I see it. Alright, so it looks like the only Pokemon that I can find is a 5% uh, Spritzy spawn because I'm playing Pokemon Y. Um, another Fairy-type Pokemon, which is really, really cool. I just don't think I'm going to be able to evolve Spritzy. Um, so, honestly, I'm probably not going to spend a great deal amount of time uh, finding it, but I will, I will certainly give it a good attempt there. Um, in the meantime, let me look at Pokemon... Pokemon Johto um, Route to Kanto. I just want to make sure I, I know that. It's been a while since I played that. Route 29? Is that it? Is that it? I don't think I don't think that's it. I think that was just outside of New Bark Town. So maybe it was 28. Uh new southern part is 46. So then we got Kanto, 
like I said, I forget what the what the route is to, to like I said to the to the right of New Bark Town. Um, but that that would probably be my uh, like I said my probably most memorable route. I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite route. Hey, I found the spritzy. That was actually pretty quick. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite route. But that definitely is a uh, memorable route for me, anyway. We're gonna get double fairy winded. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna get a. Actually, fairies are kind of neutral to each other. That's that's uh, pretty cool. Odor sleuth, odor sleuth. So yeah, okay. So anyway, we got our spritzy, which is really really cool. We're going to use a pokeball. Actually, you know what? Uh, before I move any further after I catch this thing, I'm just gonna restock up on items. Um, I'm sure you guys understand that because we definitely need to make sure that we don't do anything stupid because it'd be bad. It would be very, very bad. Bouncer grows to level 19, which is pretty, pretty dope. Um, and then we have Spritzy, the new fairy type Pokemon, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, that's, I think that's all I gotta say about, I think anybody who played the Generation 2 games know exactly what I'm talking about with that route. Um, so that, that would be my most memorable one. Um, I know I probably said that like 30, 40, 50 times because I, I know how to repeat myself. Um, so yeah. Um, oh, Trevor came to mind. This is Trevor, uh, Spri the Trevor the Spritzy, which is cool. This is fantastic. All right. So this looks like it's the only generation um, six Pokemon besides some Flabebes, but we already have that. Uh, we have a Floette now, which is really, really cool. Um, but I'm going to come back, heal a little bit really, really quickly, stock up on some items, and then we will continue on the route because that's what we do. That's what we have to do because we can. <laughs> All right, what do you got for me, my friend? Uh, I need some more... Um, I need great balls, actually. That would be that would be really, really cool to get. We'll get ten great balls. Please and thank you. Um, and then we'll use the rest of our money for some super potions. Cool. So now we have now we have potions and stocked up items and all of that fun stuff. We're gonna go ahead, whoops. We're gonna go ahead also and save, just because we haven't saved in a while. Um, which is very, very epic. So cool. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to maneuver on and continue on my journey. So we got to get past Route 7 here. I'm not 100% sure what else would be here in this route. There's Tierno. Just kind of exploring. We got the purple flowers, which is cool. Um, this guy is painting and wants to battle. Okay, I was going to say, I'm kind of hopeful that uh, Georgia here wanted to, to battle. Uses a Smeargle, which is actually really, really cool. Um, you don't see, you don't see Smeargles, but we get our first look at, uh, at Floette here, uh, in battle. It uses, what was that, Vine Whip? Oh, okay, and that's, that's kind of cool. Using that Fairy Wind very, very effectively, um, did probably about 45%, maybe a little, little more. Uh, not exactly 50, otherwise we'd be able to two-shot it. It's a three-shot. But we'll be able to take out this Smeargle really quickly. These levels are starting to catch up to us. And I know the uh, the next gym, I think the, the trainers have level 25 Pokemon as the highest. I think the gym leader has level 25. So I'm keeping that in mind. I don't want to over level. But at the same time, we need to make sure that we, uh, you know, we don't, we don't die either. So, yeah. Looks like this is going to be a double battle. So... Um, th these are always fun. Some more painters. Both of them are Smeargles. That's kind of scary. I'm gonna take down... I'm gonna... I'm gonna focus my attacks on one. Um, both of them are a level 16. That's... That's actually really, really scary. Um, and because of that, I'm gonna use Tackle and not take down. I really don't want to deal with, uh... Oh, that's super effective. I don't wanna... I, I don't necessarily want to deal with... Um, both of them. 
All right, well, I'm glad I took that one down because that one had Metal Claw, which is a steel move, and Fairy is weak to steel, so no. 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 <laughs> Level 19 for Xander and Carla, um, which is cool. I'm going to use... Um, uh, potion does 20. I'll get it to 42. That's fine. Um, and then Bouncer will use Tackle on the other Smeargle. So let's go ahead and use that potion. Make sure Rachel does not go down. And then we're going to tackle the Smeargle. Does about half. Confusion. Hits the hits Bouncer as long as we don't get confused, which we did. Um, which kind of sucks, to be honest. Fairy Wind into the Smeargle. We're going to try to tackle it. Hopefully we don't hit ourselves. It tries to use Helping Hand, which isn't going to do anything. We hit ourselves, which kind of sucks, honestly. Fairy Wind, though, does indeed knock it out. Okay, so that's that's cool. So, and do some, some thinking on that one. Rachel, growing to level 20, wants to learn the move Wish. Hmm, let's see what we got. We got Lucky Chant. I haven't used Lucky Chant at all. Let's use Wish. Wish is a good, is a good move to have. Cool, cool, cool. And Fox has grown to level 32. That's, uh, or 32, yo. Uh, 22. So we, we managed to beat both of these trainers here. Wait, where are you going? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Yimage, do you know about this building? It's called the, uh, it's called the Battle of Cheeto. Cheeto? Okay. And it's famous for a place where trainers can gather and prove in their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the Kanto's eight gym leaders. Okay, so this is where we go. Show your strength with the title. Um, I actually don't know if I can really do anything in here. Um, kind of look at this. Hello! Oh, if it isn't Yimage, uh, what is, uh, what is your title in the nobility? What? You don't have a title? That's a surprise. No one could doubt that a kid as strong as you should have one. Uh, see, your title here shows how strong you are. Uh, only a handful of trainers can join the risk of nobility to earn these titles. Lady Viola, are you acquainted with this gentleman? Ah, uh, I see you carry the bug badge, young sir. It appears that Lady Viola has recognized your ability as a trainer, then. It is pleased to meet you, my lord. My name is Hennessy. Might I ask your name? Sir Yimage. A fine name. Yo, thank you. I will gladly recommend Yimage, so will you grant him a beginning title? He has the makings of a very strong trainer, so I'm sure he'll be con uh, I'm sure he will contribute to the uh, battle, Chito. Of course, ma'am. If you're willing to speak for him, Lady Viola, that is more than sufficient. And besides, I, too, sense an extraordinary potential emanating from young Sir Yimage. Title of Baron. I have the title Baron, which is cool. I don't think I'm actually going to do much of anything in this here, so I'm just going to uh, go through the rest of this. Um, we are now going to take the leave, and then I think we can kind of go back and forth. Let's have a battle if we have a chance, which is really cool. So I can do, I can do some things uh, here as well, but I think my biggest thing is that I want... All the, first of all, all these smeargles to go away. But I, I, I just want to continue on with the game. I, don't, I mean, maybe we might... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe a question of the day, too. Do you want to see me do, uh, do the, the battle thing? I don't, I don't know. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see me uh, see me do those battles. You know, we'll make that a question of the day, too. I don't typically do those, but... We'll make that a, a question of the day, too. So let me know. I will try that for uh, Tuesday's episode uh, if that receives some positive vibes. Because today is Thursday. It's Monday when I'm recording this, but it's Thursday for everybody watching this video. All right, cool. Um, Rachel needs some healing, plus I need to uh, probably switch out Pokemon anyway to make sure that we're getting the balance that we deserve here. Rachel, of course, doing some good things. Fox, gaining those levels, man. Gaining those levels. I knew Fox was going to be a really good one. Hey, it's Serena. How you doing? It's good to see you. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Uh, how should we pair up? Hmm. Let's go with Tierno and Trevor against Jim Tuga and me. 
Ah, uh, the, the hold, hold on. You don't just charge, uh, do you? No, I don't. I need to go heal. <laughs> hold on. Let let me go heal. Hold on. I got I, I got skates that I now know how to control. So, wee. <laughs> let me go heal. I d I don't want to have double battle without actually being able to to heal. I was gonna go heal. Or not go heal, but then uh, the, the, the double battle. No, we're, we're healing. We are totally healing there. Uh, that's funny. Normally I would say yes, but my Pokemon kind of got beat up by these Smeargles. So there we go. We're gonna we're gonna finish this episode with this double battle though. That'll be that'll be really cool. So yeah. Um, I, yeah. I'm curious to see what the battle tower, uh, uh, battle Cheeto or whatever it is. It looks like Plateau. It's just Cheeto. Um, again, show me how it's supposed to be pronounced in the comments below. Um, but I'm curious to see what this battle is. So let's do it. All right, let's get it. We're all healed up. Pokemon trainer Tierno and a Pokemon trainer Trevor. Corfish and Pikachu. Ooh. All right, so I have Bouncer and a Fletchling. Okay, so Bouncer here can probably take out... Let's go ahead and take out... I mean, not really a good combination for... Um, <laughs> Fletchling with Pikachu. I guess I could take that, but then I could get Static. Let's take out the Corfish. All right, so we're gonna use Peck on the Corefish, which is, doesn't do too much. Thundershock on the Fletchling does a decent amount of damage. We're gonna take down on the Corefish, does a fair amount of damage. Um, nothing too crazy. And then Vice Grip on the poor Fletchling, getting beat up there. All right, um, we're going to try to quick attack on the Corefish, try to knock it out here. We, do, we are not successful. Fletchling also using quick attack, this time on the Pikachu. Wrong. Move Thundershock this time into Bouncer. And then Vice Grip takes out the Fletchling. You should have quick attack the Corefish Fletchling. Womp womp. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> Quilladin? Obviously evolved form of um, the starter there, but oh my goodness. Did not know how to how to pronounce that. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Uh-huh. I've never seen that. Alright, and then Vine Whip into the Pikachu. Does a fair amount of damage. There's the static that I was afraid of. Um, so there we go. Alright, we're going to go ahead and use Mud Shot on this Pikachu. Using that Thundershock on Bouncer. Does not get the para. We got Mud Shot. Does take out the Pikachu. It is super effective, of course. Bouncer growing to level 20. That is very, very epic. Wants to learn to move double kick. Uh, I think I'll keep my moves. Vine Whip doesn't do anything. And then here comes Flabebe. Orange Flower, which is cool. We're going to take down the Flabebe. Nearly takes it out itself. Fairy win. Ow. We're at 9 HP. And Vine Whip knocks out the Flabebe. And we have a pretty solid victory. Kermit growing to level 22. And we beat Trevor and uh, Tiarno. Nice. And we have a victory. Very, very cool. And a Bouncer is evolving. That's what I was thinking. We now go from a Bunnelby into a Diggers V, which is very, very epic. I, I, I'm, exci I'm excited about this one, actually. Because this becomes a ground type, so gosh dang it. This becomes a ground type. I dropped my controller. I don't know how the heck that happened, but um, it, it did happen. So yeah, we got, we got a Diggers V, which is really, really cool. Gets the ground type. Also wants to learn to move double kick. Uh, it's a power of 30. Nah. I, I still, I'm still saying no. <laughs> I'm still saying no, my friend. It sure is interesting to see how different each trainer style is. Well, I guess we ought to head into Amberite Town then. 
All right, that sounds good, but we will do the Amber Eye Town in the next episode. Remember to answer the questions of the day. What are your favorite routes, um, or at least had the most memorable, memorable impact um, on you uh, when you were younger, as well as do you want to see me do the, uh, the Battle Tower here? Because, um, I mean, I'm curious, but we'll, we'll have to see. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Pokemon Y Region Lock. Remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.